We're now going to look at the clip command on the reference panel. So make sure you're in the insert tab on the ribbon. And there's the reference panel here. And there's the clip command there. Now, what I've done is I've placed just a polyline. It's a rectangular polyline on the XREF layer inside our drawing here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to clip this XREF here, the topography XREF, using our polyline boundary. So if I click on clip, and come into the drawing area, it prompts me to select the object I want to clip. That is going to be my topography XREF there. Now, I then get a menu come up on the screen. Now, it's always good to have your DYN dynamic input on because then you get this menu here right next to the crosshair. You'll notice it's also available on the command line if you need to use it there. Personally, I prefer dynamic input. Up to you which method you use. Now, we're going to generate a new boundary. Now, you'll notice you can delete existing clipping options, as in boundaries here. You can generate polylines. You can switch the clipping option on or off. I want a new boundary, so I click there. And it asks me now to select a polyline. I can go for polygonal. I can draw a polygon or a rectangular boundary, or I can invert the clip. I'm going to select polyline. There's the polyline there. I click on it, and as you can see, it's now clipped all the way around. The reference is still there. It's just clipped inside that boundary. So what that's allowed me to do is tidy that up. I can now go here to my Layout tab, and I can now double-click inside my viewport, drag that over to there like that, double-click outside my viewport, and resize that viewport to, say, there, like that. That then gives me a whole shed load more space in my layout to put other details in there. And I've tidied the drawing up. Everything looks neat and tidy. And you can see the topography. I don't need to see all of the topography, just the topography that is applicable to that particular floor plan. So if I go back to the model tab now, let's say I undid what I've done there. I can undo that if I want to by going to clip again and selecting the object to clip here like that. And I can delete that clip. And that then brings all the data back. If I go back here, you can see that that now expands out past the polyline that I had set up for the clipping boundary. So if I go back to model now, I can also invert that clip if I want to. So if I go to clip again and select the object to clip, which is my topography, and go to new boundary. If I invert the clip first and then go select polyline and select my polyline, can you see it's clipped inside the polyline this time instead of outside? So it's also useful like that if you don't want the detail to show of your reference drawing inside a clipping boundary. So it's very neat. It's very useful. And also now, if I click on that, it is purely still just a polyline. That's all it is. It's nothing else. It's just a boundary that I'm using for that particular clipping XREF. So if I hit Escape now, and go back to clip, select the object to clip like so, click on delete like that, it brings it back again. So what I want to do now is go back to clip and select the topography XREF to clip. And again, I want new boundary and I don't want to invert it this time. I just want to select the polyline, click on the polyline and there's my clipped XREF using that particular polyline there as my clipping boundary for that particular topography XREF.